Congratulations for buying your new audio CD recorder. The latest innovation from Philips, the company that invented CD technology. In less than five minutes, you'll learn how easy it is to make your own CDs. Check out this CD. I made it just for us, and I filled it with all our favorite tunes. On a CD? Mm-hmm. How did you manage that? Magic? <laughs> Not exactly. I had a little help from Philips. Philips? You know, that cool electronics company that makes the flat TV that we saw the other day. I remember right where we were. Oh, I love this song. Philips invented cassettes and CD technology, and now they've made CD recorders. And with just a push of a few buttons, it's so easy to make your own CDs. And Philips has done a super job. Hey, so my girlfriend isn't into how this recordable CD magic happens. But I guarantee you, she'll be at my place making her own CDs in no time. The whole deal is so easy. It's unreal. First, you got to start off with the right kind of blank CDs. Don't get any of these that are for computers. You want the kind that are for consumer use and say digital audio. Trust me, the words digital audio aren't in the logo. It's not going to work. Now, you'll see digital audio on two types of blank CDs. Recordable, which you can record on only once, and rewritable, which you can erase and record over as many times as you want. And you need to know this. Recordable CDs will play on any CD player. Rewritable CDs will only play on rewritable compatible players, but soon, all new Philips CD players will play them. Let's record. First, you pop open the player drawer and you put in the CD you want to copy. Then you put in your blank CD. Next, you need to choose one of three types of recording. Press record type once, and you get record fast, which lets you record in half the time. Press record type twice, you get record listen, which records at normal speed and lets you listen while you record. Press record type three times, and you get make CD, which also records in half the time and this mode automatically finalizes your new recordable CD, so it's ready to play in virtually any CD player. If you've just purchased a Philips single tray CD recorder, the choices for the record type button will be slightly different, but the procedure is very similar. Take a look at your owner's manual for the specifics. If you want to quickly record an entire CD, choose the Make CD mode, press record, and you're off and running. You can also program individual tracks from a single CD in the Make CD mode, but remember, this mode will automatically finalize your CD, which means you can't add any more songs to the disc once the recording stops. Because of this, the Make CD mode won't allow you to make compilation CDs from multiple discs. Now, if you want to make a compilation CD from multiple discs, put in your first CD and wait for the recorder to read the disc. Then you need to choose either the Record Fast or the record listen mode. Next, press the program button. Rotate the Easy Jog Enter knob to the track numbers you want, and then press the knob to select the track. Continue using this knob to choose all the songs that you want to record from that CD. Then press record. When the songs are all recorded, insert your next CD, and once again, choose your record type. Either record fast or record listen. Program the track numbers you want to record, and press record again. You can continue adding tracks from other CDs in the same fashion. And as soon as the recording stops from your last disc, update shows on the display just as it did each previous disc. So you're done, right? Wrong! This is a key point. Unless you record it in the Make CD mode, which finalizes automatically, your brand spanking new CD will not play in any other player until you do one last thing. You've got to finalize it. Yeah, I know, it's a strange word, finalize, but it's one step you've got to learn if you want to do CD recording right. It means this baby is set, ready to go into almost any CD player, and rock. To finalize your CD, simply press finalize, then press record. On recordable CDs, finalize also means you can't ever add any more tracks. What you got there is forever. On rewritable CDs, you can unfinalize the CD, erase tracks, and record on it again and again. 
And check this out. I've already made lots of greatest hit CDs for my personal use. Workout CDs, beach music, drive time music, and party tunes. It's great to keep a bunch in the car and to take on vacation. You know, it sure saves hauling around tons of CDs that I really only like a couple of cuts on. And I can even input the title of the CD and the name of each track. And you go through pretty much the same easy recording steps to make CDs of those, those greatest hits cassettes that you put together years ago, or to archive your favorite LPs on CDs. That's really a blast. And if you've got a band, or even if you just like to play solo, you can mix your own demo with an external mixing board. Okay, here's another hot tip for recording success. Before you even turn this awesome thing on, read the instructions. Since this is new technology, you just might miss some simple little step. Well, that's it. Now you know to use only digital audio blank CDs, either recordable or rewritable. You know how to record, and you definitely know that you've got to finalize every CD you make. You're set. Oh, oh, one last thing. If you run into any problems the instructions aren't answering, don't take your player back to the store. What a hassle. Instead, call the Philips helpline. It's totally free, and they're great at solving your problem on the spot. And hey, check out the Philips website to learn more about the Audio CDR and other Philips products. Okay, now this has been fun and all, and I know you'll understand, but you know what? I'm ready to get back to my date. So did I pick the right tunes for our one year of love song CD? Oh yeah, I wouldn't change a thing. In fact, I think I'm in love with your new CD recorder. I think I know what you mean. In fact, I think we're going to be enjoying our new Philips CD recorder for many, many years to come.